These are high school kids? Yeah. Holy crap. Isn't it wild? I didn't learn this in high school. Neither did I. This is my dream shop. This is where like, uh. people are like, oh, I wish I, me too. Yeah. Welcome. We are in New York. West I'm New York. I'm in New York. West New York. Well, actually, just Jersey, right? It's like West Manhattan. I'm visiting my friend, Ron. How you doing? And uh, finally came to visit you at uh, the, the place that the magic happens, right? This is the school. The, I teach high school metal and auto shop. Yeah. And uh, this is where we built our electric cars and this is where we do, uh, you know, all kinds of metal fabrication and whatnot. This is the garage. This is the garage. Yeah. Woo, let's do it. Yeah. I, Woo. Hey, look, this is your motor. Oh, nice. I figured out I'm gonna take out the, the, ma the, the magnets and I'm gonna slip this thing out and see if we could recover it, you know? Yeah. Wait, 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 what? That's his motor? That's the motor. So man. what are you, you, you changed it to another yeah, one. Yeah, we got another oh. one. Oh. Exactly, he's pretty good. He found like a, like a one. It was the one. only one that I could find. Yeah. And I, I won the auction. I called NetGain and um, I forgot the guy's name, but he's super nice on the phone. And he, I asked him what it took to shear off the the coupler. Uh, he uh, said, inch eleven and a quarter, right? Inch and a quarter. Inch and an eighth. Inch and an eighth. Shaft. And I forget the name, like the type of steel, but it's you know it's hard and stuff. Yeah. And it's, he said eleven hundred pounds of torque. Wow. So theory is that it spun past its RPM rating, then the you know the um, the coils exploded, and then it seized it, and then the sh it first it sheared the first it sheared the. Uh, and uh, um, you know the pin. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, the key. Yes, the key. It sheared the key, and then that lodged. Then that gouged itself and la and latched onto there, and then that's when it ripped it off. So the key is what's supposed to break. The to key is supposed to break it, under stuff like that. But what happened was the key did break. But then another like it's like a two event process. So it's yeah. like overspun lock, key breaks. And then gouged itself in, re-grabbed it, broke uh, the shaft. So the key breaking actually caused the little. Yeah, it well, caused it, it to grip the shaft but, still. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But and usually it, it's. And it had a, a big uh, flywheel attached to it. It's got an automotive flywheel on it. So oh, there's so, so imagine if this thing overspun. We're talking probably way over five thousand RPM. Yeah. So if the if the if the you know the um, the flywheel spins and it's like. 5, Seven or eight or ten thousand RPM. Yeah. It's a huge. It's like a. It's like a weight. It's like so imagine sweet. like a like lifting weights or something yeah. like that. You know. Yeah. And then the this is the Lotus Seven. So it's a scratch built Ooh, car from a this. book. Let me get the book. Yeah. So this is like it's kind of a hobby um, book, and then inside they give you like um, you know they give you like directions on how to do it. So they'll oh. give you like body panels and measurements and how and what they recommend but but none of it was bought you know it's all um so like it's, it's all custom made. made yeah so it's missing we don't have steering yet and we don't have a shock in place yet but oh, we're getting there we're getting there it's going to take a while okay and yeah. it'll be electric we got prismatic cells they might have to be you got a manzanita up. yeah controller yeah you know i i know the guy that made that. really we gotta talk to him. That'd be cool. Omar, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I can put you in contact with him. This is the alarm to go in. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, put me in touch with him. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, KTA Wister Rhodes sold me that. Do you remember Wister? Wister, no. He was like at the right when lithium went like this. He sort of was like, okay, I'm done. And he went. He used to work for Hewlett Packard. He's like a product guy. Oh, okay. So he went back. You know. Wow. Sorry, Tom. We ditched you for a second. And then you're gonna use lithium ion phosphate cells. Yes. Yeah. With the, uh, it's got like a little BMS on. Little BMS on there, yeah. And then what's, what's the motor? What's the motor before we oh, get going? Oh, the motor is over here. It's it's just a DC motor from an advanced. Oh, I see. The one from East Syracuse, right there. There's the adapter plate. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember. Like those were. Yeah. Popular. And it's got like a Chevy S10 transmission. Um, I would never do that again. If you're ever gonna do the Lotus Seven. Everything's Miata. Oh, Miata. just do Miata parts. Everything, Miata suspension, Miata transmission, Miata everything. The seats, the steering, the whole thing should just be a Miata okay. part. Different body. Different body. You'll you'll drop like. And the, here's the cool thing: that car is gonna weigh like a thousand pounds. 
Okay. Which that's is right. insane. Yeah, it's very light. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're going to put the same horsepower, same motor that's in here, and this does 70 miles an hour when the batteries are all good. Yeah. You're going to, that's 3,000 pounds. 3,000. And yeah. a huge wind brick. Yeah. But if you put it into a Lotus 7, it's like 1,000, maybe 1,200 pounds tops. Yeah, it's, it's a, a monster. Yeah, it's a monster. Well, that's cool. And by the way, if you guys remember, we we you know we ventured into Manhattan on this one a few years ago. Oh yeah, what what was the video? Um, oh, uh, electric car New York style or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a few years now since that was the time that they met Ron, and yeah, we had fun in that car. Uh, this was great. We did this with students. It was it was it was like a four month after school project. We went nuts on it. You know, I mean, pretty much like we pretty much lived here. You know. <laughs> so this one's the next one. This is the next one. Although in between, we did something cool, but it's not here. We did a veggie diesel car. So we had a Volkswagen diesel, and then we put veggie oil in it. And you couldn't tell, so what we did was you open up the trunk, and we had a fryer, and we put fresh oil in the back. Okay. And then we would fry French fries and give them out and stuff at, at, at car shows. And then we would have a sucker and it would go and we put it into the tank. And the oh. sucker actually started to melt because it was from the fryer straight. So. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Nice. But it works perfectly, you know. All right. And then, um, you know, and then the shop is like diverse, you know. So like we have, um, you know, we have like milling machines. Oh. These are miniature mills. If, yeah. if a teacher is watching this, and you're in a school or even a hobbyist, this thing, Jet, obviously designed in the US but made in China, it's, it's bulletproof. It's teenager proof, which is even better. <laughs> teenager yeah. proof. This is teenager proof. My teenagers have been working on this for about three years, and we just got this one this year, and it's got a digital readout. And if you don't know what this is, it's really simple. Everyone knows about the 3D printer. Yeah. This is the 3D cutter. You can cut in three dimensions. It's like a drill press. Yes. So like it goes like this, that's your Z. Exactly. But then when you want to go sideways, you see you can go front, back, side, and down. Yeah. And the cutter looks like a drill, but it's not. But this it's a cutter. That is an end mill. Yeah. And it is way harder steel than a drill than a drill from a regular drill. But yeah. that means if you go too fast, you can crack it like chalk. Yeah. Yeah. So we have that, we have a lathe. This is, think of this as like a pencil sharpener mixed in with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, and you can, anything that's round. Yeah. Yeah. And so you gotta think like, um, this is like the mother and, and the father is over there. So these are the two machines that make all the other machines. So if you were on a desert island and you had to pick three, uh, actually, if you could pick four machines and you were gonna make stuff, the lathe, the mill, the grinder, which would cut stuff for making here, yeah. and then your welder. And you, then yeah, that's it, you can make anything. Anything. Like yeah, and then you need material, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Like, to give you an example, so like, like 3D printer also, so they do printer. have a 3D printer. Yeah. And then we have uh, like a... Oh, like this is a, a brick? What is this? This is great. This is a three-in-one. So this is like, you can cut, it's like a huge scissor, and then you can, you can bend it, and then you can also roll it, and this rolls. Yeah. How do you get kids to not cut your... Perfect, fingers? perfect. You place it here. Here, I'm going to give you a demo. I'm going to give okay. you a demo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, because I'm that shear is like, oh, I can see kids sticking their fingers okay. in there. Okay, Tom, do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Okay, bend this. Okay. Oh my God, you're so strong. How'd you do that? Okay. That's per example. It's easy to bend. Yeah. All right, okay. So now I'll show you how to cut it. And then I'll also show you how to, to bend it so that it's stronger. Okay, so you put this here, and then the students are instructed to clamp. You have to adjust the clamp. Okay. Okay, now it's hands-free. Okay. And then you... Cut it? That's okay. it. Do you have to be so violent like that? Oh, yeah. It's okay. great. Right. Okay, so now, you remember it was super easy to bend. Now what you do is you put it in here, and you bend it. Okay, now try and bend strength it. Strength on it. Way more strength. Oh yeah, for sure. Isn't that wild? Yep. Just by bending it like that. Yeah. 
And then if you want, you could do it again if you were doing some sort of detail on a car go. or uh, you know whatever you were doing there. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, this way. Dude. So if that were the side of a car or in this case, what students do is, I, I didn't make this, this is all student made. It was supposed to have a, like a, we are gonna put a tool on top. Oh, but see. basically it's, it's all made from scratch and then the way it started was, it's a little rusty now, but we made a miniature one oh. and then we test it. Oh. We put a, uh, like a, a lot of, uh, like a press. Yeah. And then we actually put it under a car, which it was crazy. But so where it broke, they can change their design. See, they didn't finish making oh, that. Go all the way to the top. Yeah, yeah, and so and then what this one does is it goes all the way up. All the way to the you top. see, so they learn their lesson on a small one, and then they carry it out one. in a bigger one. That's cool. Yeah. So you know we got a lot of stuff here. You know, this is like a metal table. You know, so you have like your vice and your anvil and your Beverly shear, and we do stuff like welding. We have like miniature bicycle frames, so we can like try out welding and whatnot. So we've got two welding stations over here. <laughs> you can see repairs all over the place. Here. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Everything. So, so this is nice because it's a MIG welding station. Oh yeah. And then you just boop boop. Oh yeah. And you know, you know, kids come over here and then they grab their jacket and this is, you know, and we got exhaust fan here. Oh, now yeah. this is like, MIG welding's like, the barbecued, the barbecue of, of welding. It can be good, yeah. but it's like, it's messy and it tastes great and everything like that. But if you want to get into some serious welding, yeah, the sushi, the sushi, sushi. the clean, clean, oh, colorful. So much bigger. Yeah, they make them smaller now, but, small, yeah. but this is a TIG welder. So this is, um, there's like a torch. It's, it's an electric torch. So. All of the energy that comes into this is focused into this little point and it's like a laser. It's like, you're like a superhero. You're like, you get to shoot lightning out of your fingertips. It's amazing. Yeah. So you feed the, the stock, the rods. Yeah, you have, right? so you have this. With your hand. Okay, okay so you, yeah. have the, you have the torch, you have the feed, okay. and then you also have to take your foot and throttle it. Ah. Yeah, so it's a coordination it. thing for sure. But yeah. once you get it, it's no problem. So and this then, is the ultimate right here. This is the ultimate, the ultimate, yeah. And then going back to super basics, this is a spot welder, which is used in manufacturing. Yeah, my, yeah. my car has like 11,000, no, 30,000, I think, spot welders. And you had to drill them to take them out or replace them or something like that? Yeah, whenever you... You, You're, uh, you know your car intimately, because yes. you rebuilt the whole thing. <laughs> yes. So you recognize this. Almost yeah. every spot welder. Yeah. Now this ain't bad, if you ever wanted to get one, it's, yeah, it's, it's cool. heavy, but it's good. I got to use, this one's for the school, but I got this exact model, which is teenager proof. <laughs> yeah. I promise, they haven't broke it yet. I got one for like 300 used. Oh, and I got to cool. tell you, it's good. Because then, then you could spot weld all your stuff. Yeah. You know? They have that at Harbor Freight for like 175. You could try it. I mean, it comes with like a lifetime warranty. Then <laughs> you yeah. can't do yeah. that. You can't yeah. do that. Yeah. And they're very simple devices. It essentially it is a transformer. It's a transformer. No, it's exactly. one, two windies. This is the one wind. Exactly. But the hover free one doesn't stick out that far. So. Oh no, you oh, can you can yeah. change these. Oh really? Nice. Yeah, and then you can change the tips yeah. if they wear out. And it's all about contact. So if there's oxidation, you got to yeah. get that off. Replaceable yeah. tips. Yeah. yeah. Even though we do electric, I think it's important to learn the fundamentals yeah. of changing fuel into rotation. So if you're changing electricity into rotation, it's similar concept. Yeah. Uh, it's just that in this case, it's liquid fuel being atomized and almost like a water pump. It's a pump. It pumps it in and it compresses it. And you know, so we use motorcycles. We also have small engines for water pumps and whatnot. And the kids take them apart and put them back together. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sandblasting machine. Yes. This is a press. This is a, this is like a hammer, but oh, a light, metal yeah, so it, sh so it squeezes the metal and then it can make like a, a ball shape, yeah. but it goes like this, okay. air pressure, it goes, Dang, it's super loud. Oh. And then, yeah, you could take off the rust, take the off the paint, thing. which is super cool. Don't touch. Glass. Yeah, don't touch the glass. The kids take this oh, and they're always like scratching the glass. I'm like, why are you doing that? Ah. Yeah, there's a lot of teenager like, hey, what are you doing there? You know? Yeah, stop it. <laughs> yeah, let's, come on. Oh, sorry. 
Stop it. Stop okay, you want to see a wood shop? Uh, no, let's go. 